and welcome back to my travel sketchbook tour slash vlog video series. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I did videos where um, I go over my time in Paris and my time in Edinburgh before um, all the happenings of this video. So if you want to watch those, then I will leave a playlist link up there. I think the editing of this one went a lot smoother. If you watch my previous video uh, uh, in Edinburgh, then you'll know that I was having some filming difficulties. Um, but by this point, I pretty much had those resolved. So I had a decent amount of footage and photos from um, my time in London. So this is covering my whole time in London. Um, we had a lot of fun. We got to see some friends and hang out with them. And... Um, yeah, it was really great. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think it, I think this video turned out pretty decent. So, um, enjoy. Hi guys, welcome back to my travel sketchbook tour series. We arrived to London. The trip to London was actually pretty painless and it uh, wasn't too difficult to get into the city. The subway system in my opinion was fairly straightforward although um, the names of the subway lines were a, a bit odd for me. Maybe that's just because I'm used to something being like the orange line or the blue line but uh in london they name it like the victoria line yeah i don't know i just found that part a little bit interesting because you know it's like they had actual names anyways um we managed to figure it out managed to get to our hotel um and by this point in the trip i think we were halfway through and so we needed to do laundry my mom had given me some advice to wash the clothes from our trip in the sink and then like wring them out and hang them out to dry um and after you know thinking about the amount of effort that that would take and whether or not it was really worth it um me and Juan decided that we'd rather just go to a laundromat so we ended up going to a laundromat and paying to wash and dry our clothes after we washed and dried our clothes, we went to go eat at a restaurant nearby. Um, so we, you know, did some Googling, found a restaurant just around the corner from our hotel. And I don't know, that was just the weirdest experience that I've had um, in a restaurant. And maybe it just has to do with like the culture of eating out in Europe, or maybe it was just that particular restaurant was kind of weird. But, um, I had ordered a dish, and there were two dishes that were very similarly named, um, and they accidentally gave me the other dish, and, like, the girl just seemed like she wasn't, just, like, super paying attention. Um, I don't think she really liked working there, to be honest. Um, I stopped the other waitress, I was like, hey, so, like, you know, maybe things are a little bit different in the U.S. than here, but, like, just wondering, like, is this... Is this what this is supposed to be? She's like, oh no, that's the other thing. I I really for I forget what what I ordered. We we're like, okay, whatever. Like I already ate it. Um, Juan thought he ordered fish and chips, but he actually ordered halloumi and chips, which halloumi is actually like cheese or tofu or something. Um, yeah, he thought he thought halloumi was a fish. <laughs> um, but anyways, it was not. So we both got things that we weren't exactly wanting. Um, we were, we were just a little bit disappointed in our meal there. And so I guess, I don't know, like, I guess it's a thing that, uh, and I might be spreading misinformation. So maybe do some Googling before you just, uh, just take my word and run with it. But, um, like they expected that we were going to just dine and dash and because we weren't satisfied with our meal. And so we went to go pay and they were like, oh, I thought you already left. And we were like, no, why would we leave? We haven't paid yet. And they were like, oh, uh, okay. Um, which we had met up some friends the next day and we told them about this experience. And 
uh, my friend was like, oh, yeah, like, if I'm not satisfied with a restaurant, like, I just get up and leave. And we're like, what? That's really? Is that a thing you guys do out here? He's like, yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's what he said. I don't know if that goes for everywhere in London or even Europe, but, um, so, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, just saying, not that, not saying that I advocate for that, but I just thought it was interesting that it seems to be a fairly normal thing when you're not satisfied with the service at a restaurant. So that was just the day that we arrived. Um, and I'm realizing now I should have done more pages for like the days that we arrived, but I just did like the pages of like the full days. Anyways, so our first full day, we went to go get breakfast and then we went to the British Museum for a guided tour. We had booked this ahead. It was, and it ended up being just us on the tour. And so that was really nice that we got to have like a little more intimate kind of situation and we were able to ask questions and kind of like make a little bond a little relationship with the the tour guide um, which I really like when it comes to tours and so this was our tour, gui tour guide she took a little photo with us in front of the Lama Sioux at the British Museum um, and yes yeah, so that was that was really nice I think moving forward uh, I'm gonna do less group tours and more like personal private tours or something like that because I really preferred that experience at the 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 group tours like I don't know all the other people were just buddy daddies at the British Museum they also had the Rosetta Stone which I thought was really cool um, and then after the British Museum we had made arrangements for afternoon tea so we started here at our hotel we went over here to the British Library and then we went over here to the Rubens at the palace um, and that was where we had our afternoon tea um, I totally forgot to bring like an extra pair of clothes or something like that to like you know kind of freshen up and be you know uh, more appropriately dressed for afternoon tea um, but you know after so many days of traveling I was kind of like feeling a little frazzled but still enjoyed ourselves it was really good I I did not expect to get filled up on tiny finger sandwiches and pastries like it was it's crazy um like I actually struggled towards the end to like finish eating the food but I was like you know what I'm, I'm all the way over here I gotta finish it so after that we had to get back to our hotel and this th this map doesn't look like it's that's very big but this is like literal miles like I think from the Knox Hotel to here and then to the Rubens at the Palace. I think that was, I don't know, probably 10 miles already. So after the afternoon tea, we decided let's like walk around a little bit and, and see if we could see any of the classic London stuff. Anyways, so we walked down and we passed by Big Ben and West Westminster Abbey and uh, we crossed the bridge and we ended up going on the London Eye. Oh yeah, I'm getting video. Guess who's getting video? just like the rest of the after the evening was pretty much unplanned that was nice to have that spontaneity this is just like a cool building near our hotel after the Lynn and I we had to get back to our hotel so by this point I think we had already walked like 15 miles and so Juan was like you know what let's make it an even 20 and walk back to the hotel and so we walked all the way back from here all the way through the gardens, past Buckingham Palace, to Knox Hotel. And we were so dead tired um, and starving. Um, here's a little picture of Big Ben and some of the scenery in St. James Park near the, the 
Buckingham Palace. After all of that, we were so hungry. Um, we had kind of seen like a Chinese food restaurant and we had talked about maybe trying to go there, but then once we got back, Juan did a little more Googling, as you do, and found this place um, called Happy Lamb, and we ended up deciding to go there, and it was so good. So it was actually like a Chinese hot pot, and they had, like, we ended up getting the two bras. It was like the mild and the spicy, and we got all the fixings, and um, then we got like a plate of mushrooms and a plate of veggies and like different meats and whatnot and like the meat platter that we got came in the shape of a heart and it had like dry ice like fog coming out of it it was pretty cool yeah but not like a cool yeah this is a solid thing yeah, yeah. not a hollow thing Sure, it's on the regular. I ate a lot. You did eat a lot. Like five octopus. Some rice. Some more rice. Some kimchi. Some kimchi. Veggies and mushrooms. A bunch of mushrooms. Great. I, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if I start tripping right now. Yeah. Mushrooms. Yeah. Eat a lot of shrooms. Okay, no, this the wafer goes on. This is going to make for a good memory. How are you feeling after that, uh, that dinner, Juani? I'm all right. Oh. Yeah, see, Tesco's closed. Tesco's going to be closed, baby. It's like 10 p.m. One's ready to go after that dinner. Yeah, I I'm got a like, ton of energy. I'm energized. I just got filled. Meanwhile, I'm ready to go to bed. We ate so much. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, and one actually was thinking, oh, you know what? I could eat some more. So he bought like a whole nother platter of meat after we had just finished like all this food. And I was like, dude, don't do it. Like, I know right now you feel like, you know, that it's a good idea, but that's a bad idea. You shouldn't order a whole nother plate of meat. And he was like, no, nah, it'll be fine. And then a couple pieces in, he was like, this was a mistake. <laughs> this was a funny little picture of Juan. Uh, when we were walking through the park, he like, I don't know, was trying to strike a pose. And he just did this weirdest thing where it's like his hand is facing this way and then his other hand is facing the other way. And then he was doing like this funny lip uh, thing like this purse lips I don't know it was just really funny um, so that concluded our first day in London if you're in that area near Knox Hotel and stuff like that Happy Lamb is incredible highly recommend so the next day we went to the Sherlock Museum the Sherlock Museum you know it's fun to go to say so you can go but there really isn't that much happening and I think if you're kind of on the fence about it you can skip it just being honest um but I do really like Sherlock and I'm a big fan of the Benedict Cumberbatch BBC a series and so it was just got to cross that off my bucket list after the um Sherlock Museum we we're kind of just hanging out. We went to this place called the Portobello Market. I wonder if Pito means something else in London. to come into town and meet up with us and we got um I think we just picked up a little snack in that area and then we went to meet up with um our friends this is Johnny and Vicky um they they have come and stayed with us um not me and my husband but my family um they've come and stayed with my family a couple times and so it was fun to be able to go out to London and um, see them and they kind of showed us around they met up with us at this place called the walkie talkie building apparently it, it's like um, free admission and you can go up to the top and you have a really good view of the city 
and then we walked across the tower bridge bridge actually like lifted up like they cleared off the bridge and lifted it so that a, a boat could pass through which uh my friend said that he has lived in london pretty much all his life and has never seen that happen um so it was a first for all of us so it was pretty cool find a place for fish and chips that was pretty much the only thing that Juan wanted to do um, was get some fish and chips <laughs> Unfortunately, as we were arriving, it was pretty much closing down. Uh, Juan was like the last person that they served, um, so he just barely managed to get his fish and chips in. And then after that, we went to Covent Gardens. We went to a little bar there and picked up something to drink. And then as uh, we were hanging out there, me and Juan were trying to figure out how exactly we were going to um, get to our flight in the morning because I there weren't a whole lot of options so the next place we were heading to was Verona and there weren't a whole lot of options um, and so I, our flight actually was leaving pretty early in the morning I think it was like supposed to leave at 7 or something like that um, which means that you gotta be there around like 5 30 you know we we're trying to figure out like okay so the public transit isn't running at that time it's really expensive to get a taxi then we had talked about maybe we'll check out from our hotel early airport there's a capsule hotel or like rooms that you can rent by the hour so if you just need to stay like a couple hours or something like that to freshen up or just get a little bit of sleep so we were talking about maybe doing some of that and so Johnny and Vicky ended up offering for us to come and stay with them for the night and then Johnny would take us to the airport in the morning um, so we ended up taking them up on that offer and I'm really glad that we did because uh, it was just so nice to be able to see where they live and um, you know just get to spend some quality time with our friends talking to my friend Johnny about coming out there we initially didn't stay at their house because mainly because my husband hadn't met them before and so he just felt kind of awkward about staying at somebody's house that he didn't know so now that you know he's acquainted with them and we stay with them at least once now I'm sure that when we go back we'll probably come and visit them well that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching to this point if you haven't already please hit the like and subscribe button i'm trying to make it to 1000 subs so um every single subscriber counts and i would just really appreciate it the next video is going to take place in verona and i'm just so excited to do that video because it's actually the whole reason that we took this trip because in verona we will be going to a concert and who we went to see i will keep a surprise i mean realistically a lot of you probably won't care but i was very excited so it was kind of like the excuse that i used to go on this entire whirlwind adventure so anyways i hope you enjoyed this and i hope that if you enjoyed this then you'll stick around for the next video so in the meantime don't quit your daydream and i will see you in the next one bye